that I just finished grading. So limit as x approaches negative infinity. And in the limit, you have the square root of x squared. You must write that this changes into negative x. Look at the solutions I posted. I specified y. The square root of x squared is the absolute value of x, which has two options, x for x positive and negative x for x negative. And if x goes, approaches negative infinity, this cannot be replaced by positive x. It has to be replaced by negative x because of this. Don't ever assume that the square root of x squared is x unless you know for sure that x is greater than or equal to 0. If you do not know that, then you cannot assume this. And this is exactly the opposite. So you have to use this, the second branch, the second option. Good. Other questions? So this was a comment for the homework that I graded today. I'm sorry it took me longer. I, um, I had to work with my Calc 2 class. They had a test on Sunday night. Good. Other questions? Thank you for sending this. Anything else? Now, I specifically asked uh, you to uh, present the limits. Only one or two students presented the limits for, as we did in class, for finding the asymptotes. Almost 100% you presented a limit for the horizontal asymptote, but not for the vertical asymptotes. You have to present the limits. Look at the solutions I posted, please. And the last lecture. Anything else you would like to go back to? Which one? Uh, number nine. Okay, so once you identify the, uh, the asymptotes, you have to find the limit from the left and the limit from the right. So for f of x, which is x minus 1, and I will factor the denominator into x minus 1 and x minus 2 right away, I know that uh, I have to state that x does not equal 1 and x does not equal 2. And now I'm allowed to uh, simplify. This is a hole in the graph, not an asymptote, because the factor disappeared. So the simplified form is 1 over x minus 2, but these conditions stay. x equals 2 will be a vertical asymptote, because the factor stays in the final form. So because of that, I know that this is a vertical asymptote. And right here, I determine the limit as x approaches 2 from the left and the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of 1 over x minus 2 and 1 over x minus 2. So 2 from the left was 1.9. This was going to be uh, negative infinity. And with 2.1, this would be infinity. So these limits pertain to the vertical asymptote. Now to find the limit as x approaches infinity from 1 over x minus 2, we know we get 0. It's 1 over huge, so that's 0. I don't have to determine this one. There is no need, because this is a rational function. So y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote everywhere, both ends. Also, for this whole, I have to determine and see what happens, right? So the limit as x approaches 1 from the left, and the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. 1 over x minus 2 and 1 over x minus 2. Can anyone give us any of these two? And then we'll conclude that x equals 1, which I already wrote, uh, is a whole, but then we will have the point and y equals, and the point will be 1 comma something, depending on what you give me here.
Can anyone identify these limits? I haven't heard from Diana and RJ. Negative one. Thank you very much. Of course, one minus two is negative one, one over negative one, so the point is negative one, one, but it will be a hole. The point is one negative one, but it will be an open point. That's it, that's all you have to present. So once you say vertical asymptote, you have to find the limits. Once you say hole, you have to find the limits. Once you say horizontal asymptote, you have to show the limit. Is that okay? Perfect, thank you. Anyone else? Other questions? Will you be able to review the notes, the um, the solutions for homework, the written solutions. Will you be ready for the test on Wednesday? <laughs>